Byrne says, look, uh, you know, what we should concentrate on is the Scottish dish. Whereas a lot of the Edinburgh intellectuals preferred fancy French food over the wholesome Scottish haggis. In the end of the poem, Byrne says, look, if you really want Scotland to be grateful, then you should give the Scots and Scotland haggis. Ladies and gentlemen, the ode to the haggis. Fair far the honest, oh, saucy face, great chieftain of the prince, a bonomo ye tacky place, page tripe of third. Well, I will you a grace, as lands my heart. There the groaning trench it fell, you heard like a distant hill, your pen would help to mend the mill in the time of need, while through your pores the Jews descend, like amber beef. His knife, see rustic, labor tight, and cut you up with a ready slight. Trenching your gushing entrails bright like pony ditch, and then oh, what a glorious sight! One reeking wretch, then horn for horn they stretch and stride, deal take hindmost on they drive to all their well swelling kites for life. I bet like crumbs. <laughs> old Goodman. May slight to ride, or <laughs> be thankful. <laughs> Is there no argument for French Ragu? Or Owen? Which spouse are? Or a figure say? Would make her skew. Look down with sneering, scornful view on Sigadella. Poor deal, see him o'er his trash. Ah, as feckless as a withered rash. His spindle chank, a mere whip whack. His knee, a oh, net. Through bloody flood and field to dash. How unfair. But mark the rusty, hagsty. The trembling earth resounds his tread. Clapping his wally leave away, he'll make a whistle. <laughs> and legs and arms and heads will snap like cats of prison. Ye cowards that make mankind your kids and dish him out the bill of fear, Scotland wants no skating where the Jumps in the luggage. If you wish for a grateful prayer, 